Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump comes out swinging with two perfect tweets after Omar's racial smear. Freshman Democrat Representative Ilhan Omar recently referred to White House senior official Stephen Miller as a white nationalist. Miller, of course, is Jewish. Here's her tweet. Stephen Miller is a white nationalist. The fact that he still has influence on policy and political appointments is an outrage. Given Omar's past of disparaging Israel and advocating for the release of a jailed Muslim Brotherhood leader, a lot of people are upset with the Minnesota Congresswoman, and rightfully so. Now, President Trump has sent a pair of tweets that hit Ilhan right where it hurts. See him. What's completely unacceptable is for Kenjus woman Omar to target Jews, in this case Stephen Miller. Jeff Balaban, B2 Strategic, CEO. At Varnico. It was recently reported that Omar has been holding fundraisers with groups tied to terror, in secret. Think about that for a second. From Free Beacon. Democratic freshman representative Ilhan Omar, D. Minnesota, has been holding a series of secret fundraisers with groups that have been tied to the support of terrorism, appearances that have been closed to the press and hidden from public view. The content of these speeches, given to predominantly Muslim audiences, remains unknown, prompting some of Omar's critics to express concern about the type of rhetoric she is using before these paying audiences, particularly in light of the lawmakers' repeated use of anti-Semitic tropes in public. Omar recently spoke in Florida at a private event hosted by Islamic Relief, a charity organization long said to have deep ties to groups that advocate terrorism against Israel. Over the weekend, she will appear at another private event in California that is hosted by CARE APAC, a political action committee affiliated with the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE group that was named as an unindicted co conspirator in a massive terror funding incident. Is this any different than if a Republican congressman held a secret fundraiser with a Nazi affiliated outlet? Imagine the outrage from the media, if that were the case. Omar's appearance at these closed door forums is raising eyebrows in the pro Israel world due to her repeated and unapologetic public use of anti Semitic stereotypes accusing Jewish people of controlling foreign policy and politics. With Omar's popularity skyrocketing on the anti Israel left, it appears her rhetoric is translating into fundraising prowess. It remains unclear what Omar has told these audiences in her private talks. Washington Free Beacon attempts to obtain video of past events were unsuccessful, and multiple local news and television outlets in the Tampa, Florida, area, where Omar spoke to Islamic Relief last month, confirmed they were unable to gain access to the closed-door event. Islamic Relief has come under congressional investigation for what lawmakers have described as its efforts to provide assistance to terrorist groups such as Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood. The charity has been banned by some countries as a result of these ties. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.